Okay, so what we have here is the table and list plugin. When you receive it and open up the zip, you will have two folders, the example code and the plugin. The plugin is the DLL. Example code is three UBOT source files. To install the plugin, you just go to Tools, Plugins, and click on Add. Choose your folder location where you set it. Go to Plugin and just select it and click Open. After you've done so, make sure the checkbox is put next to the item. Uh, just check the box that will go ahead and enable the features within the software. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the tabular CSV data. Now you'll notice here that I have comma and colon separated items. And that's because you'll be able to set your delimiter. Okay, so we've set our delimiter here as a colon. And this is just our content. So if we run this, we come up with our information here, and it's separated by colon because that's what we specified and that it had headers. We can go ahead and sort the data by clicking the column header, and it will go ahead and sort that out for us. Okay, so if we wanted to delete a row, all we got to do is click next to the row to highlight it and delete row. In order to delete a column, all you have to do is select the column, any one of the columns, and select Delete Column. Okay. Now, say for instance that we wanted to delete multiple columns. Well, we could do so by clicking, press and hold Control, and click another column, and it will multi-select those columns for you, and then delete. So that will allow you to go ahead and delete multiple. Same thing goes for row. Press and hold control, select a different row, and you can delete multiple rows at one time. When you X out of the monitor, it'll return the data that's left within the grid. If we went ahead and we changed our delimiter here to a comma, and we run the software, we see that we get the comma delimited information, and we can go ahead and sort those columns, and the same thing for deleting. If we choose to not have headers, so we don't have headers as a part of our CSV data, we go ahead and we click Run. We don't won't no longer have any headers. We've got column 0, 1. It is array limited, uh, delimited, just like our lists and tables are. So we can go ahead and sort our columns accordingly and delete as needed. And that's how the tabular CSV data works. Let's go ahead and close this one, move on to the next one here. This is uh, list with UI, which means uh, edit list CSV. Now we've got our list data here, okay, so when we run this, we've got all our information right here. Now we can go ahead and click our column here, it'll automatically sort the data for us. Now, say we wanted to insert something at a specific position, say at name 2. We could say we want to insert it with uh, my name. So we click insert, and it goes ahead and it inserts my name at that position. Now, say we want to uh, replace my name, okay? So we go ahead and we click here to select that area. And we want to replace it with some name. So it replaced my name with some name, and we see it realigns based on what our alignment settings were. Okay. If we want to delete any given row, you can either select a row, click delete, or you can select multiples by pressing and holding control and selecting multiple rows and hit delete. When you close this out, it will return your uh, information, and this is a monitor, so it's not putting it correctly here, but it returns it in list format for you so that you can go ahead and use that as you like. You just see, here's our results here in list format. When you close this, 
and go over to our next one which does not have a grid <clears throat> and down here for edit list we've got the options that are uh, variable here and we can either insert or replace at a given position and then our text and our message here is uh, what it what it's uh, going to return us so right now we're going to insert at position index one okay so we've got zero is header one or yeah zero is header one and position one would be right before header two because it's going to bump all these down so when we run this we see we've got header one alpha header two so forth okay now say we wanted to replace okay we're going to replace header two with alpha this time instead so we see header two has been replaced within our list for that position so all you got to do is just choose your action type and position that you want to replace the data or insert data to and it will go ahead and return your result for you without having to use a grid we don't necessarily have to use the monitor here we we're just doing that in these examples so you can see a quick result uh, if you happen to have any questions, please ask, and I hope these videos has helped you. Thank you.